I'm here with Professor Luis Fuentes and today we're going to talk about assessing left atrial size in cats. So Virginia, how would you assess left atrial size in your feline patients? Well, there's a couple of ways you can assess left atrial size and probably the one that I use most is a qualitative assessment looking at multiple views of the left atrium. So the short axis, right parasternal short axis view at the aortic valve level gives you a nice comparison between left atrial diameter and the aortic diameter to decide on whether the left atrium is enlarged or not. But actually in, in cats, um, we probably use just as much the long axis view, looking at the shape of the left atrium. It'll tend to be round instead of square. Even the shape of the left atrial appendage in the right parasternal short axis view can be helpful. It tends to be bigger instead of just a, a narrow crescent sort of shape. Obviously we do measurements. Measuring the LA to AO um, from the short axis view um, is easier in cats than it is in dogs, but I think everybody has difficulties in assessing the LAAO because of variations in where the, exactly where you put the cursors for left atrial size, for left atrial diameter. Um, so I probably tend to eyeball the LA to AO ratio and for the long axis view measure the left atrial diameter from the intraatrial septum to the far wall of the left atrium in a line that bisects the left atrium into two equal halves. The other thing to think about assessing left atrial size in cats is uh, using M mode to go through the aorta and left atrium as, as we would be if we were measuring left atrial diameter, but record an M mode so that you can see the difference between left atrial size at end systole and end diastole. And measuring the percentage change in left atrial diameter with each cardiac cycle can give you some idea about left atrial function. And the advantage is that you, you get the extra value of having an assessment of left atrial function. And we've, we've seen that this is an excellent prognostic indicator, but also it makes things much easier to measure. It's quite a straightforward measurement to measure left, left atrial diameter off the M mode um, when it's maximal diameter and minimal diameter. So that's something else worth thinking about. That's a really good use of M mode. Why is this so important, this assessment of the left atrium? It, it looks like left atrial size and left atrial function as well is uh, an excellent prognostic indicator. It gives us an idea of the risk of left-sided heart failure um, and also arterial thromboembolism. And left atrial function or a surrogate measure of left atrial function the LA fractional shortening um, seems to be particularly good at this. So it's useful whether you have an asymptomatic cat with a murmur and you want to know how, whether there's any cardiac disease or how serious it is, um, right the way through to a, a cat presenting with severe respiratory distress and finding a big left atrium tells you that it's likely that the cause of the respiratory distress is going to be likely to be associated with left-sided heart failure. So across the spectrum of, of cases, assessing left atrial size can be really, really helpful. Thank you so much for that, Virginia. I think assessing a left atrium in cats is something that a lot of people do struggle with, so this has been really helpful. Thank you so much for coming. You're welcome. Thank you.